Hello, my name is Sander and welcome to my first tutorial series about the new GUI system of Unity. Um, I will create an inventory system and yeah, let's start about uh, with it. Um, I have to apologize for my bad English, I'm not a native English speaker, so sorry. Uh, let's create a script folder, I've done that for far, and let's create an item class. Um, called item and open the script. Oops. So um, the script is from Alpha Media. Um, so uh, we have to create some variables for the item. So to de declare the the item. So let's start about it. We have to we have a we have a name for the it the item. So it has to be public string item name. Oops, uh, item name. Then we have a public in the item ID. Oops, I don't know why it's okay. item ID, then a public string item description, a sprite for it, so that we can see the item icon later. Then we need a game object when we want to drop the item that has to be instantiated as game object, so item model. And then we need a parabolic and item power from it, and item speed maybe something like like that. Item speed, a value of it, so that we can split eight items later, or uh, stack items like consumables. And we need a enum class, uh, enum class um, of item types. Uh, I will show that. Uh, I create it firstly. So let's create the enum class. Enum class is nothing than uh, nothing else than uh, enumeration of um, words, which declares the item. So uh, let's create that enum item type type. So now we have created our enum, and now we have to declare it, uh, which um, words declare the item. So uh, like item can be a weapon. A consumable, um, a quest item, a head item, uh, so like a he head and shoes, oops, shoes, chest, trousers, uh, earrings, earrings, necklace, rings, and yeah, hands. That is, I guess, yeah. And we now need um, a function which uh, instantiates this item. So we need a public item, and so we need this function to uh, instantiate uh, the item uh, from another class. So item, and now we need the name of the item so that we can store them in the variable later. So let's create string name, then we need an ID of the item, um, a description of the item, um, the power of the item, the speed, the value, and the item type. Oops, type. So, okay, now let's go further. Now we have to, uh, to take the variables and store them in our uh, item class variables. So, uh, what I for forgot, uh, this has to be a normal class, not a mono behavior. We don't want to uh, interact with the Unity editor. So, let's, uh, let's uh, just do it, uh, just delete the mono behavior in front of it. So, um, let's say item name is equals to name, uh, the same with ID. Item ID is equals to ID, uh, this description as well. Item oops, description is equals to description. The item power is equals to power, power, and the item speed, speed is equals to speed, and the item value, item value is equals to uh, value, and the item type is uh, equals to value, uh, to type. Sorry, um, item type, uh, item type is equals to to uh, type. So, oops, uh, 
so small. Okay, now we need another thing. So um, our item icon will um, be the same name as uh, our normal item name. So um, let's say um, the item icon gonna be um, loaded from the resource or, uh, folder. Uh, I will show this uh, that after this. Uh, resources dot load, and now we need the um, um, the type of the yeah the type of the file so it will be sprite and the name of the file and let's call it how I said the name uh, of the file will be the same as the item name so let's do that like that so save them and now I'll show you how it works you will create a resources or, uh, folder and just store the item icons in there um, I've downloaded the item icons from here I gonna post that below the video so you can download them here all they are all free so use them and yeah then store them all in here and click uh, control a or press control a and they have to be all sprite uh, for do 2d and ui so just do that and apply so that takes a small time not very much, so that's okay. And we need another thing now in our item class. This is yeah. Um, we need a uh, for our slots later. When we have an empty slot, there has to be a yeah uh, uh, empty item. So we have to create a, another function that's called item, which is empty completely. So that's enough. So we yeah we are finished with our item class. So. Um, now we have to create an item database where have to be uh, where the item has to be stored. So let's create a C sharp C sharp C script again and let's create item database. Um, so now yeah sure not all new. Um, now we need some uh, we need a list. So we need using system dot collections. Oops dot collections dot generics um, this allows us to use a, a list otherwise we can't use them and in this list we have to store the items so public list uh, the type of the uh, the list so uh, of the items in the list so it's called items and items equals new list and the same thing again item and yeah, that's it now we have created our list for our database and now uh, when we start our database we want to create uh, let's say four items and we have to do this items dot add this is how we add another item to the list so a new item from our class which we have created so we go into the function here and now we want we have to declare the things so we need a name of the items so um, we got uh, ar more 04 that is the item name so and then we need an id an id of the item has to be unique so don't use them twice or anything and we need a description let's say that it's, it's a nice armor nothing else i don't want to write big text about it so and then we need speed uh, power and a speed and a value a value will be one every time so don't change it um, then item dot item type and this is uh, armor so something like the chest i guess so let's do that chest and we want four items of it so let's copy paste it only and we got another f change the id and nice nice armor uh it's quite a <laughs> i don't know i'm not uh, let's write better armor <laughs> that's nothing is so it's a chest as well and then we have a consumable like oops Uh, again a unique ID and this is a nice consumable consumable with the item type of consumable consumable and yeah no it's, it's enough I guess okay so we have created our item database so we have to do now um, create an empty game object which let's change that to item database and 
Um, this uh, has to be tagged later for, for us. I have done that so far, so uh, just press a tag and uh, write an element in it. And then click here and press item database. So now it's tagged and it checks uh, the item database. So we've done, uh, we've created our item database. So when we press start now, uh, oops. Yeah, okay. Um, okay, and now we have to create our inventory system. So let's do that now. Uh, we want to have UI with a canvas. A canvas is, uh, has to be, uh, we need that 100%, so we can't delete that. Uh, that is uh, generated automatically. So if you create, a, oh wait, we don't want that another item database so okay uh, so otherwise we can delete that as well and say we will only want a panel and it's automatically generated so um uh yeah the panel is our inventory so we can resize that now um like that uh, i guess it's a bit too big uh let's do it like that, yeah, perfect. So now let's call it inventory and also tag this as an inventory so there will be a script on it later. Um, inventory, so okay. Um, now we have to create our slots. Um, we, we will work with prefabs, so this prefabs will be loaded later. So let's create a prefab of it. Um, this is only image like background, so we have a 100 uh, 100 uh, height and 100 width of the of the image, and we only want 50 pixels. So we could create and uh, change this here, or you can change this on the scale here. So that won't change anything. Uh, but here they are working with pixels, so it's it's way way easier. Um, yeah, let's call this slot as well and place that firstly so that we can see yeah, perfectly. Okay, and uh, now we can uh, change the source image. Uh, there are all the Im uh, the items from us, and we have some default items from um, the GUI system. Let's use this as background item, uh, background sprite, and say simple, and we have we have a perfect item, um, um, perfect slot. And when we change the the image later, when we have an uh, item in it, we don't want to have to change the uh, the background of the slot. So we don't want that like that. That's exactly not what we want. So we want um, simple. Okay. Uh, we want another image on that as a child and call this the item icon. So. Uh, this has to be 50, 50 as well. A bit smaller, I guess. Uh, 40, 40, and then in the oh, 40, 40 pixels, and then in the middle of it, it I guess it is. So when we attach uh, item icon now, it's I guess yeah, it's perfect, nice. Okay, um, let's take none now, and it has to be disabled firstly because when there's no item in, we gonna disable it in later in the script when there's an item in we're gonna enable it so um that's it so we co uh, we create a prefabs or a folder prefabs folder and attach the slot in it so and recreate and uh, delete that and now we are gonna create a inventory script inventory so So we need lists later, so we add the oops okay perfect the library again and yeah let's start. Uh firstly we need our prefab which we have created here now before and um yeah let's do that. Oh wait I got some different uh, nice okay. Um so we need public game object and this will be sl the slots, so the prefab from it, and 
So we need four loops for creation. Yeah, f to create the um, to create our the, all slots for our inventory. So um, let's do it. I guess I don't know exactly how many uh, fit in it. In it, I guess five. Ex uh, not exactly five. I guess it's around five. Uh, it's okay. I guess uh, e plus plus and create another loop. Okay, now we need to instantiate our game object. We do that like that, and slots, and that's it. So, firstly, but it's not the right way because when we look now, we're gonna create. Ah, oh, wait, I forgot to uh, attach the script to it. It's something which I forgot often. Inventory, attach that, and that. So, Uh, I forgot to attach the game object, so we have to add this as a prefab as well. Um, so, perfect. Now we've got 25 uh, slots, but they are all not child object objects of the inventory. So, we have to um, attach them as a child object. So, let's do that. Uh, we have to store this instanti instantiated object as um, a game object, so that we can declare that it, that it will be a child object. Object. So let's do that. So slot game object slot is equals to instantiate slot. Uh, that is not enough. So we have to cast that as a game object uh, as well, because it's only a transform which we have here. So um, okay, uh, let's go further now. Uh, now we have to declare it as a child. That is pretty easy. Slot. So uh, now what I have to say: this script is is attached to the inventory. So and we have, we create a slot. This is firstly only created. So and we want that this slot is uh, is the child of of our current uh, object and that, that is pretty easy so slot transform so slot dot transform dot parent is equals to this punk game object so this dot game object dot transform so now we c we said that this created slot will be a, a child of this this object so now we see they are all there, but we can't see them because they are out of the canvas. But this is pretty easy. We have to change the the position of the slot. So let's attach the. the yeah, okay, now we can see. Um, let's say this is a, this will be our first um, slot, and let's say it starts by minus one hundred and uh, and uh, one hundred and ten. So we can delete that again, and let's say we need. We need uh, x position. X is starts by minus 100. I said, or what was it? I forgot it again. Uh, what was it? 100 and 110. Okay, that's 100. And the y x is 110. So perfect. Now we've got our position for our slot, and now we can uh, create that. It's pretty easy. Or uh, we have to pos uh, position it. No, no other position. It's pretty easy. So we have to prefab slot get component and now we need the direct transform from it also uh, so um, we have a direct transform and now we need to attach uh, attach the new position to this uh, yeah to this coordinates and it's pretty easy we need the component direct transform direct transform and then we have to change the local position of it and this local position needs a vector 3 and with our coordinate x and y and yeah depth is uh, is pretty uh, worth we don't need that and now okay when when we save that we will create our inventory system, uh, inventory slots uh, all on the same spot that that's we don't want that so there has to be changed and yeah let's do that um we go to our script again and let's say every time uh, 
when we create it one slot, we want to go uh, further with the x axis, so x plus 55, so that is five pixels between a uh, space between the slots. And if we got five five um, slots in one row, we want to go uh, deeper. So, but the x x uh, the x axis has to be uh, the old one, so that is minus 100, 100, and the y axis has to be, oops, y minus minus 55. So, that's it, and, oops, that did not, shit, I forgot something, ah, I did something wrong, a note, ah, there, 4, and then it has to be 5, I guess. Oops, so uh, they want it. Okay, uh, yeah, it's pretty good. Okay, I guess again, I'm gonna go a bit more left, so that is in the middle. Let's change this 100, let's say 90, I guess it's okay, or 95. Uh, we have to check that. Oh, okay, uh, that, that's bullshit. Wait, uh, it's 110, so 110. It has to be at 110 as well. Go, go. No, oh, so now it's perfect in the middle. So we've got now 25 slots. Um, you see, they are all named slot clone. That's not what I like. So I want to rename them all so that I know exactly where the slot is. And let's do that like that. Uh, we're gonna start by one and not by zero. And let's take that six so that the, they are still uh, five by five. And this has to be changed as well. Okay, nice. And now that's pretty easy. Um, we want to rename the slot. So slot.name is equals to slot plus e plus uh, dot plus yeah k and then we are finished and we have perfect name for uh, our slots so it started and now we see they are all names so the first slot is this in the first row and then uh, uh, and so on you can see that they are all perfect named now now we can see where they are um okay that is our uh, inventory script for the first it's not uh, not finished so but um that's pretty it. Yeah. Okay, now we're gonna start with the script for the slots and let's create a slot script. So for the slot script we need some uh, libraries, some different uh, libraries than before. So we need using a Unity engine dot UI and we need using unity engine unity engine dot event system systems so okay when we're gonna change the slot wait let's start it you know when we got an item in it we have to change the sprite so otherwise um we can't do anything and uh, yeah um when we don't attach this library to it we can't reach the image script here so you have to uh, you have to add them um okay let's start our slot has to has um has to has uh, has to have um item so public item item okay then we need uh something like a slot number so that is from our inventory uh, script later but yeah let's do that later so then we yeah uh, that is that's it firstly okay um so if so we have to see now if our item so our item variable not empty then the image has to be changed from it. So we have to do if item not null the item image has to be enabled 
and so because we have uh, disabled it before you see this is disabled otherwise there will be only black uh, the uh, white uh, sprite so we have to enable this and we do that like that we have to um, we have an image image we call this uh, item image or item uh, icon how you want I'm gonna call it item image now here and uh, the item image we gonna have to get the component so we have to game object dot transform dot get child and now we say uh, it's the index zero and get component image so now we got the component and we can work with it so um so if it's null uh if it's not null not null uh we want to uh, enable it so item item image has to be enabled as true and the item image dot sprite has to be changed so that the item dot item icon so where is it item icon so perfect that's it exactly so and else if it's null maybe when we drop it uh, drag it later we have to uh, do that as well um, that we have to uh, disable it again if it's null so item image dot enabled is equals oh I've run uh, something wrong image okay perfect uh, enabled is equals to false so okay that's it firstly for the slot script so uh, let's create something else mm -hmm. we won't see anything at the moment so because we have touched no items before so we're gonna do that uh, uh, at the next step but firstly I want to show you something like how the click behavior works now with the new GUI system um, you could let's create let's add this script so okay we we need some event triggers um you c you can do this uh, on different ways uh i'm gonna do this over the script but you can also do attach something like this let's say event trigger and this has to be something like uh let's say on paint po pointer enter and now you could attach something like um uh, we have to attach the slot script otherwise we can't get the slot script here as it so we have to um add the slot here just drag and drop it in well it won't change what happens wait 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 slot there it is perfectly slot okay and now we're gonna we want a slot script called uh, send a message so something like the send a message so that we say send a message and now we have to call the function and let's say we're gonna create a function which is called void uh, say us the name something like that say us the name so let's do that and now debug dot log uh, we don't uh, we only know uh, transform dot name transform dot name and yeah, says the name. We need the function because they send us a send us an image message. So we need the uh, name of the function. So let's do that. And now that's it, I guess. And now, oops, yeah, that's a problem. Now <laughs> I have to uh, disable this inventory. Okay, perfectly. Now when I click on it, now it says me slot. When I cl click on it, so it works. So. Uh, that's how uh, it works with the um, with the click behavior. It's pretty easy, and yeah. Um, but that's not what I want. I don't want to add every time a, a new trigger. So let's do it o with the script. So let's delete that, remove component, and this as well, and this as well. So um, we have to detach. Uh, let's delete this here too. So okay, that's now perfect. Uh, let's activate this inventory script again and yeah let's go further 
we want to do uh, it on another way. Uh, we have to attach two two libraries, and we want a uh, pointer down handler and uh, I pointer. Uh, I I pointer end handler. So uh, the down handler is for the the cl for clicks, and the I pointer and end handler is later for our toolbar. Um, yeah, let's start this. Uh, it's pretty easy. Just public public void, and there's uh, there are the function which is declared before from Unity. So on pointer enter. Oops, on pointer enter. Uh, so on pointer down, sorry. Uh, and now we want we need a pointer event data. We call it data as well. And let's say debug dot log clicked. Uh, I guess it's it's the click uh, handler. Uh, let's cr uh, check this. Oh, what happened here? Uh, Okay, let's delete this before uh, we are not using the interface. I guess that's the problem. Okay, let's add that later. So when we click on it, you see it's clicked. We also could say, uh, I guess that you see that it's only working for one. Let's say transform dot transform dot name. So you can see that it's the name of the, uh, the slot. Oh, it, it's exactly the right slot. So you see slot one, slot one, two. So it's pretty easy. And now we want something like yeah, when we um, when we uh, go with our cursor over it. So something like creating a toolbar. First, we want only want to have uh, output for the console. So we're gonna create a window for the tooltip uh, later uh, on another tutorial because uh, the tutorial is pretty long. Uh, at the moment, so let's create a public void, and now we need another um, uh, interface. So we have to add the I pointer enter handler and public void on pointer handler uh, pointer point R Y what the fuck enter, and we need pointer event data and data. Oops. So and now. Let's say only if then uh, firstly only we only want to see the tooltip when the item is not null, but uh, I only want to show you now that it's working. So let's debug as well only and debug um, uh, mouse over. I call it call it mouse over now, mouse over. So that you see that you see uh, it's only mouse over. So and you see. Uh, when I'm moving in the slot, it's only called once. So I go out and go in. So it's only called once. So it's perfect before our tooltip later. Um, okay, that's so far the yeah the important thing. So now we're gonna go to our inventory script back and attach some items to our inventory. So we have to do some changes and yeah. Uh, firstly, one we have to manage um, our slots. So we have to create our um, we have to create another list for our um, inventory. So we have public uh, list of game objects. Uh, these will be the, uh, the slots. So new list as game objects as well. Again, game objects and yeah. And every time when we create a slot, we I want to have. Yeah, I want to attach this to this list. So let's create slots dot add, and we want to sl uh, add a slot. It's pretty easy, and yeah, that's it. So we know we have them now here. Okay. Uh, another thing which is pretty important is um, we have to attach an item to it, but we have to do it another another way. So that, let's say we want to handle it. Uh, the completely s the whole slots with one script, and uh, I want to do this in this inventory script, not in the slot script. So let's create something like we need another list, public list with the item in it. In it, so items is equals to list again and item. So and now 
every time when we create a new list, uh, a, new, a new slot, uh, there has to be an empty slot firstly. So um, items dot add add new item. So so I'm gonna show you that now. Firstly, just a, a example. So it's not exactly that what I want. So we got slots now, and in every slot we have we we have our slots so it's perfectly fast so then wait, wait i didn't say that or what uh, public list items i want to see the items why i can't see the items hmm, i don't know exactly but um there has uh, in this items list uh, there uh, has to be so for the for, for the index zero there has uh, there is the slot so the slot 1.1 and there has to be the item uh, which will be attached here later but uh, we will do that sl uh, later so okay that is i guess the important part yeah now let add uh, item to our um inventory it's pretty easy we have got here our uh, items list and now we need our new, uh, a new function it's called let's call it um, void add item now we need another thing which is pretty important we need our database we, which we created uh, on the start of the video we need item database database call it so database database is equals to game object find game object with tag and we have tag that item database I'm gonna show you it later item database and dot get component item database so now we can get uh, so we get access to the item database through the list and now we can see which items are in our item database it's pretty easy now inventory and when we want to, when we want to add an item we're gonna we need an id so let's create that um, we only need a for, uh, a for loop for int i is zero and i is, yeah okay now we have to see we don't want we only want to check uh, if our item id is in our database so let's check database dot items that's the list of the I uh, item database and dot count count okay and i plus plus so let's go further so if database dot items So is this element um, with the item ID the same which we want to have here, which we give there? D, we want to attach this to our to our own item uh, item data uh, to our inventory. So we're gonna add this item item is equals to database database dot items oops dot e so we we take this item from our item database into our new item wait what see wrong uh, it's uh, i forgot to be cool so so now we got our uh, item from our data database and uh, save this in another item uh, so and yeah that that's is uh, that uh, that's it break and save this firstly and another important thing is we have to create the problem is later when we uh, stack the items we have to create uh, every time a new item oh no uh, let's do that later on another tutorial um we need to check if at the moment we only uh, take the item into our new, new list so that's the wrong way so we would do something like uh, in our it we got our item list here items dot dot add 
and we would item uh, add the item only. But the problem is, every time when we uh, get into it, we will add it to the first um, to add yeah, to the first um, to the first slot. So that's not what we want. So we are gonna over save that or overwrite that every time. So we have to check which slot is free at the moment. So we have to create another function void. Um, um, let's say add item at empty slot. Empty slot. I know it's not the perfect name. Uh, maybe you got a better name. Item, and we have to check every every slot. So we do another for loop and through. Oops, items that count. So and we go through every every slot and when the item oops i don't know what happened now okay when the item the slot of the item and the item name is yeah, equals null so when it's empty we w we can uh, we can add the item to the slot so let's do it like that and items dot dot Oh, what the fuck? Oh, Quatsch. Uh, items i dot is item. I don't know. I'm a bit weird at the moment. Uh, and then uh, after that, we don't need to go uh, um, go further. So we have we can go out of the loop with a break. So now we can do uh, here add item add an empty slot and call it with the item which we have taken here now. Okay, save, and I hope now I can watch into the. Uh, I still can't watch in our mine, in my item list. Uh, it's pretty annoying to be honest. I don't know why. Goodness. I hope it's working now. Items that add new item. It should work. I don't know why this script is isn't attached this. Okay, uh, it's pretty worth. But you will see uh, when we now say um, add item, we're gonna attach every time a new item to our script. And let's say we only want to to have the ID zero and add item one. Okay. And I want to uh, firstly I want to debug this. Uh, I know that the first the first two uh, slots will have these items, so I'm gonna debug them. So let's say uh, I know they are in this game object slots. So slots slots. I want to, uh, the index zero and dot um, get component. We want the component. Oh, no no we don't need that to to be honest. We only need. Uh, we can. We also. We also can items. Wait. Uh, yeah. Zero. Dot. Yeah. Uh, now we got it. Item name and yeah. That's better. I guess. Now you can see. I don't know. I would show you the list, but the problem is I don't know. The Unity is a bit bugged at the moment. I also normally I can show you this list, but at the moment not. I don't know what the problem at the moment is and let's save that and let's see the debug it show it should show um the name oh it's no uh that's exactly not that what i want to be honest i don't know what's the problem at the moment uh items at Let's double check it with my other script which I created before. Mm, maybe I'm gonna debug my my list length of my items. Items dot count. I hope it's not zero. When it's zero, they won't show that. I guess. Ah, no, no, they, they would. They would show that. It's 25, so it's right. So, and when. 
when I create the item, I want to debug this here as well, so I'm gonna double check this if I did something wrong, so item dot item name. So when I uh, create the item, I'm gonna see the name now. Uh, maybe I did something wrong. Uh, you see, I do not uh, check this uh, in the item database. Item database is in. And database dot items. Uh, we have created the zero. Add item. In the ID, if we go through every item which is in the item database, and check if database dot items. I item ID is equals ID. So I don't know what the problem is. Uh, we're gonna check this as well. How much? Uh, how big the database? How big the count? Uh, how big the items database is? I, I, I don't know. It's at the moment. I guess a bug from. Yeah, I guess it's a bug from from Unity because I attach. Ah, I know maybe it could be the script. Yeah, it could be a fault of the script. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we have to change the row of the scripts. So at the moment we create the inventory script before the item database script. So we get a problem that. Um, so we we do not have an item before. Uh, when we create this inventory script and create this complete script, we we want to attach attach this item da da database, and we we didn't even create this uh, items, and we get zero exactly. So um, I have to uh, search how it works. Um, I'm gonna be back soon.